Infectious microbes are responsible for about one in every five deaths around the world. It's about 11 million people. And we're rapidly approaching an age where we're actually going to have no antibiotics left to treat these infectious microbes. So we desperately need new antibiotics. One of the problems is that this takes a long time, especially if those bacteria are really slow growing. We're really interested in understanding how bacteria cause disease and probably more importantly how we can stop them. We take the genes from creatures like fireflies and glowworms and put them inside of nasty bacteria, making them glow in the dark. This means that we can use the light to tell us how many bacteria there are and where they are. So the more bacteria there'll be, the brighter the light. Our bacteria produce light using a really simple chemical reaction and one of the things it requires is for the bacteria to be living. If we add an antibiotic to our bacteria and they die, then the lights will go out. This is really useful for something like TB because the bacterium that causes TB grows very, very slowly. So it can take four to six weeks to grow colonies on a petri dish. We use our glowing bacteria to speed up drug discovery tuberculosis or TB, which is a lung disease used to be called consumption that killed about one in five people a hundred years ago. But when we discovered antibiotics and started treating it, we thought we'd beaten it. But it turns out that we were wrong. So about one in three people in the world have the TB bacterium in their lungs and many of them don't even know it. It kills about four and a half thousand people every day and there are now strains of TB circulating around the world that are completely drug resistant. So we have no way of treating patients who have that disease. I'm an investigator within the Morris Wilkins Centre for Molecular Biodiscovery and here at the University of Auckland we have a brand new lab for our TB research. We're working with a great team of medicinal chemists uh, at the Auckland Cancer Society Research Centre who are making anti-TB drugs. One of the things about TB treatment is that it takes a really long time, it can take 6 to 12 months of antibiotics and so they're trying to make antibiotics that kill the bacteria faster and we can really rapidly screen those variations to see which ones are actually effective.